I ask for the truth on behalf of Cherie Lynn. Cherie, Cherie Lynn. Uh, concerning love relationship guidance. I ask for guidance and insight in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth. Always. We just cut the duck for you there, uh, Sherry. I'll move um, things to the side here. I'll deal out three cards as we do uh, in a three card spread. So each position in the spread, of course, um, each, 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 each card in the, in the spread has a position. The first position is the position of the, the recent past. This is a period of time between now and this time last month, roughly. About how long, however long it takes the moon to do a full cycle. About a month. That's what it's called, isn't it? The next card is the present, so that's roughly around about like the last three days to the next three days, that sort of present um, outlook there. And then the immediate future is a, is a month ahead, isn't it? About three or four weeks or so between now and three or four weeks or so ahead of us. Let's uh, see. I think I'm going down with a cold, actually. Uh, a snuffly nose and nose. That's a bloody bad throat. So there you go. Let's pull out the first card and let's see uh, what has been going on just recently for you over the past three or four weeks or so from a relationship point of view. You've got the Harlequin. The energy of the Harlequin. The Harlequin is a member of the Royal Court and really just indicates really that true feelings have been masked over the past three or four weeks or so. You've not really been saying it as it is. Uh, you've been saying it. You've been saying what you think they want to hear. Um, which I suppose can be foolish to some degree, uh, but you felt safe doing it. And that, of course, notice the mask is surrounded by darkness. You can't see the eyes, of course. It's just a mask. But who's behind the mask? I suppose, really, we all wear a mask to some degree. It's just the ones who don't wear the mask. You don't know they're wearing one because they haven't got one on. But they could be still wearing a mask, couldn't they? And that's... You can't unmask somebody who isn't wearing a mask. But nevertheless... This is the sort of thing, from a metaphorical point of view, of course, you are masking your, your, your feelings and, 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 and you're not really saying it, or you haven't, over the past three or four weeks or so, you haven't been saying it as it is. You haven't been telling them what you feel about them. Maybe that's more important than anything because they felt insignificant and made you feel bad about it as well. Um, and, and things have, have been unclear. When I, when I suppose uh, maybe of course uh, although I'm pointing the finger at you of course it could be him as well both of you have been masking your feelings but somebody in the relationship has been anyway let's put it that way I still want to point the finger at you because I want to peck at you so I feel, feel like pecking on somebody uh, let's uh, beat you up a bit further let's just see what's happening at present oh we can beat you up here can't we uh, the energy of the uh, uh, Medusa there, uh, which is the green uh, of the heart chakra. Uh, jealousy leads to conflict right now. Be careful uh, here because I got a sort of sense is what are you looking at here like that for? Oh, what are you looking at him like that for? This sort of thing going on. And uh, oh, uh, keep mentioning your ex, do you, in your sleep or something? Or uh, is this all about the fact that you, you think more of your ex than you do me? Or... Is there somebody else? What the hell is this all about? I don't know. But certainly something else or somebody else it seems to be sort of there. Notice the darkness in the background there. The uncertainty or the unknown then. Somebody knows what it is though because it's there. Somebody can navigate through it. It's just that you don't know. But the serpents there, although serpents uh, can represent healing, they also represent change. They separate, they sort of uh, separate themselves from the skin. They shed the skin as you would say, and, and renew, 
and rejuvenate but nevertheless just like change they can have a nasty bite as well and in some cultures of course they represent betrayal as well so I get a sense as though you feel betrayed well I'm thinking that I don't know maybe because I've just said betrayal but uh, I do sense that you've been you feel as though you've been betrayed you've been let down uh, uh, somebody's uh, shown you up uh, for uh, what you don't feel you are and, and, and has given a bad impression uh, 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 sort of tarnished your reputation in front of me. So how, how did you? Why the hell did you say that in front of her when I was there? Don't you think I feel anything? Don't you think I'm there? That sort of thing. Why I'm sensing that I don't know, but nevertheless, the envy that you've got of whoever it is he's been speaking to. Of course, it's terrible, isn't it? Well, let's just see though what the immediate future is uh, around the corner there. I mean, of course, it could be you saying it to him, and 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 and, and he he's been saying why are you showing me up in front of, of her, or something. It could be the other way around, where I'm sort of sensing it's you because I want to pick on you a bit further, I want to beat you up even more, but I can't, uh, because the energy of uh, the Griffin there bringing honour and good luck. Uh, obviously, I get a sort of sense here that uh, things are going to turn out not as bad as you think. It's all going to be a storm and a teacup and it's all going to blow over. And and maybe just the fact that the honour there in the sense that you've got self-respect but you may respect him as well and you may snap out of it. You may just both snap out of it, grow up, get lives and either move on with your own lives or move on with the life that you've got to, together and just say, well, it happened in the past. I, we can't define ourselves by what we did in the past or what we didn't say and how we didn't express ourselves but we can at least express ourselves properly now we can define ourselves by what we're doing now by expressing ourselves now and now we've expressed ourselves maybe now we've expressed the jealousy and, and how we feel about each other in the sense of how we envy each other and what it is we dislike about each other maybe we can now Probably between now and this time next month, tell each other what about what tell each other what we like about each other, and 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 then work out well you know does the good outweigh the bad or what what what's that about? So maybe you can ask yourself to think of three things you dislike about yourself, and then and then you can tell us all three things about the, 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 that you that you like about yourself. So you can probably either comment on that or something. Or, or just tell yourself, I don't know. But either way, um, you haven't been saying it, saying it as it is, and now the jealousy has set in because somebody hasn't been expressing themselves about how they really feel. If you'd have really expressed yourself on how you really felt, maybe he wouldn't be looking elsewhere, or you wouldn't think he's looking at somebody else, or talking to somebody else, and flirting with somebody else. If you'd have known how you felt, he probably would have. He would have maybe, maybe he would have turned you off from talking to somebody else, as well, because he hasn't expressed himself. I don't know. I still want to blame you. I want to pick on you. I don't know why. Maybe I just feel like a bully today. So there you are. You've been bullied. You've been beaten up. So you've been well and truly duffed up and told off. We'll cast a shadow over that. Uh, so let's just hope it does blow over. But for now, just for now, you know the truth speaks. As these cards have now spoken. <laughs>